Lifestyle medicine is the use of lifestyle interventions directed at the treatment, management, and prevention of disease. Hey folks, Dr. Keel here, and I want to talk about an interesting study that was recently published. It's titled, A Preliminary Randomized Controlled Trial of a Behavioral Exercise Intervention for Smoking Cessation, published by Abrantes et al. in the journal Nicotine and Tobacco Research. And the objective was to investigate the effect of aerobic exercise intervention on smoking cessation. Just some background here. Uh, tobacco use and cigarette smoking has earned a reputation as a major threat to the health of users. The list of risks associated with smoking is long and includes lung cancer, coronary heart disease, stroke, at least a myriad of other cancers, including esophageal kidney and bladder, multiple complications of pregnancy for mother and baby, diabetes, and unfortunately, many, many other complications. Cigarette smoking accounts for 480,000 deaths in the United States each year, or almost one in five total deaths. Quitting smoking can reduce your risk of many diseases, including your risk of heart disease, stroke, many cancers, and even lung cancer itself. Unfortunately, cigarettes, tobacco, and nicotine, uh, these are some of the most addictive substances known to man, and quitting is notoriously difficult, as many smokers can attest, but it's certainly not impossible. Some well-known options to quit include creating a plan, having a support system, different nicotine replacement therapies, treating the withdrawal symptoms, and alternate therapies, just to name a few. Although there is research investigating exercise as a smoking cessation tool, the studies have suffered from a variety of methodological issues. The authors of this study hypothesized that the active exercise group would show evidence of decreased cravings, withdrawal symptoms, and negative affects. This particular study uh, was a randomized controlled trial of 61 smokers, and they were either assigned to 12 weeks of health education as the control or 12 weeks of exercise intervention. And then after the study was over, they had follow-up at 6 and 12 months. And as far as results go, individuals in the exercise group had higher rates of verified abstinence at 6 and 12 months. However, this difference was not statistically significant. Individuals in the exercise group also had lower levels of depression. Uh, these two were not statistically significant. And there were no differences in positive or negative affect or other withdrawal symptoms. Uh, so in conclusion, although not statistically significant, these results do suggest that aerobic exercise may play a role in smoking cessation and abstinence. Furthermore, it may play a role in treating depression in tobacco consumers. And it's important to point out that this was a small preliminary clinical trial of just 61 smokers. A larger scale randomized clinical trial would be helpful to further identify the impact and influence of aerobic exercise on smoking cessation.